Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TVMI. It is Thursday, July 10th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. I'm coming to you from my balcony at the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Los Angeles from the summer 2014 Television Critics Association press tour. While I am in LA, I figure why not put on my California shades? Now, I have to fess up, I just told you a bit of a lie. Technically, it is about 6 p.m. on Wednesday evening, but it is still light out, which I thought would be fun to do the video cast outside. L.A. is very loaded with traffic, and we are in rush hour, and I am facing Wilshire Boulevard, and there is a lot of traffic at the moment. So that is the noise that you hear in the background. Now, the second day of the press tour, the summer press tour, featured another day of cable, and we had sessions from the networks of Discovery, WGN America, and BBC America. Now, keep in mind the difference at the press tour between cable and the broadcast networks are you have a network like NBC that basically is all NBC for the day. You have Fox that is predominantly Fox. You have CBS. So you basically have that network's programming on that specific day or two. On a cable day, you have various cable networks here presenting their programming highlights, so it tends to be a little crazy going from one medium to another, but that's the way cable works. And opening up the day, Discovery announced that its current network, Fit and Health, will morph into Discovery Live Channel effective on January 15, 2015. We had sessions from the Discovery Networks on Naked and Afraid on Discovery Channel, Pitbulls and Parolees on Animal Planet, Gunslingers on American Heroes Channel, Hillbilly Blood on Destination America, and finally Heartbreakers on Investigation Discovery. As I said, cable is very haphazard. You go from one show to another with various themes. Next was WGN America with a session on its second upcoming scripted drama, which is called Manhattan, and BBC America was here next. They presented panels on its new dramas, The Intruders, which is debuting on August 23rd. Uh, the Game, which is a spy thriller, and A Poet in New York, and those last two dramas will be debuting in the fall. In addition, BBC America has announced that Orphan Black and Broadchurch will be returning for new seasons. Moving to television, I'll give you some updated news, beginning with Stevie Nicks. It has been announced that the new musical star of Fleetwood Mac will be joining the next edition of The Voice. She will be working with the team of Adam Levine, and we will have the teams of Blake Shelton and upcoming coaches, Farrell Williams and Gwen Stefani. They will also have talent representing their teams that will be announced at a later time. The Voice will open up its new edition on the first official night of the season, which is on Monday, September 22nd. In the weekly network rating scorecard based on the live plus same day data for the holiday week of June 30th, which included July 4th, we had CBS the most watched network, NBC was first in the key demos of adults 18 to 49, adults 25 to 54, and adults 18 to 34, the top rated show of the week. Once again was America's Got Talent on NBC. We had all three editions of Big Brother landing in the top 10 among adults 18 to 49 and other young adult key demos. And the number two show of the week was the season premiere of Under the Dome on CBS, which averaged approximately 9.4 million viewers and a 2.1 rating among adults 18 to 49 on paper. That is a very solid performance in the summer, but compared to its series opener one year earlier, it was down by double-digit percentages. So keep that in mind. Douglas Pucci posted the numbers for the season premiere of one of his favorite game shows, The Chase on GSN, and they were unfortunately very disappointing in terms of total viewers. 494,000 adults 18 to 49 was only 73,000. If you visit our website, there is more specifics on the season premiere of the game, courtesy of my colleague Douglas Pucci, so please check it out. Coming up on the air tonight, we have the debut of two new scripted comedies on NBC. They air from 9 to 10 p.m. The first is called Welcome to Sweden. It is created by and starring Greg Polder, who is the brother of Amy Polder. Amy will be working on the show um, in a off-camera capacity. This is a Swedish production. It's airing at 9 o'clock. It leads into a new comedy called Working the Angles, starring Andrea Martin. Twelve episodes have been picked up 
by NBC. This is a Canadian production, and once again, you have to give the broadcast networks credit. They are really being more aggressive with original scripted programming this summer. It doesn't mean that people are going to necessarily watch, but you cannot blame the network for trying. Coming up today at the press store, we will have various cable networks here, including the Turner Networks and HBO. So stay tuned for more highlights from cable from TVMI tomorrow. I hope you have a great day. And I will see you back from sunny California at the Summer Press Tour. Have a great day.